Magandang mapayapang hapon, Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha Elizalde na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH Radio at sa mga nanonood sa DZRH TV. Lalo na sa ating mga kasamahang alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Napaka-espesyal ng episode na ito para sa ating lahat dahil we have so many reasons to celebrate. Una, andyan ang National Women's Month na ipinagdiriwang tuwing buwan ng Marso. Pangalawa, we are also celebrating the 17th anniversary of Art to Art. Opo, ganun na katagal tayong magkasama sa programang ito. We launched our very first episode on March 11, 2007. At sa awa ng Diyos, nandito pa rin kami. At dahil dito, nais namin ipaabot ang aming taos pusong pasasalamat sa lahat ng naging guests namin sa nakaraang labing pitong taon, sa aming production staff na pubuti na ang buhok, sa Manila Broadcasting Company, lalo na sa aming chairman, at executive producer na si Mr. Fred J. Elizalde. Sa aming mga sponsors at syempre sa inyong lahat, ang aming viewers and listeners, sa walang sawang pagsusubaybay sa aming programa, dasal namin ay magsama pat sana tayo sa mas mahaba pang panahon. At siyempre, huwag nating kalimutan na isa rin itong advance birthday celebration para sa ating very, very special guest na magdiriwang ng kanyang kaarawan sa darating na March 16. Kaya huwag kayong aalis sa hapong ito, samahan ninyo kami sa kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan kasama ang natatanging pop diva ng Pilipinas na si Miss Ku Ledesma. Dito lamang sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos na ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Sa pagsining at kultura para sa lahat. Art to Art. Nandito pa rin tayo sa Art to Art at kasama natin sa hapong ito ang isa sa pinakamatagumpay, pinaka-influential at pinaka-iconic na musical artist in Philippine entertainment industry. The original pop diva, Miss Cool Desma. Magandang hapon ko. Wow. A, it's so good to be here. I'm starstruck. Kahit first time. Ha? Yeah. First time. Ha? First time. Yeah, Mrs. I know. Mrs. Elizalde. Yeah. <laughs> oh, diba? <laughs> well, Magandang hapon, of course, Ku. Welcome to Art to Art. I know it's your first time. Thank It, you. It's not going to be the last. Oh, uh, it won't be. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, so before we begin, of course, happy, happy birthday. Thank um, you. Thank you very much. Uh, how are you planning to celebrate on March 16? You know, we're, we're planning to have a, well, a concert. Uh, March 16 mm-hmm. is a all Uh, benefit show. Lahat mm-hmm. ng proceeds will go to the foundation that I started, the Holy Bible Giver Foundation. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Holy Bible Giver Foundation um, buys Bibles to give away to prisons, churches, and also to schools. Mm-hmm. You know, and while I visit those places and mm-hmm. share the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's That's yes. a wonderful way to celebrate yes, the birthday. Yes. And uh, ang concert na ito ay gagawin sa Music Museum, right? Music Museum. Right? Uh-huh. And the title is 316. Uh-huh. My birthday is 316. Okay. It was my daughter who reminded me, Mom, did you realize that the the scripture 316 uh-huh. in John is for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. Wow. Diba, no? Oh, so oh, this is my second diba? time I'm doing yeah. a 316, 316 titled concert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know Music Museum, of course, and done before yes. yung aking very first Uh, ballet to two oh. na sinuot ko sa recital sa first, at saka ano, ang very, museum. very first na 
pair of point shoes ko. Oh. Dinonate ko siya sa music museum for the museum. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately na, nasama sa sunog. Na sunog oh, nga. Yeah. Oh, oh. So, anyway, pero, thank you for that. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I've performed so many times in music museums. Yes, enjoy. Yes. Enjoy oh, siya. Oh, yeah. Doon ata talaga nag-umpisa yung pagsayaw ko sa you know, to pop music and sa mga oh, OPM, okay. to singers. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was ma- matagal na yan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, magbalik tanaw muna tayo, Ku, on your career. So, yes. papano ka, papano mo unang pinasok ang mundo ng musika at paano nagsimula ang iyong paglalakbay sa industriya nito? O paano ko nag-umpisa is in a, well, banda. Mm-hmm. Mga banda, tatlo ang banda ang naumpisahan ko. Mm-hmm. Yung una is Ensalada. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was in the Holly, Holiday Inn. And then uh, the Rebirth Corporation. Iba-iba yung klaseng music. And, it, uh, and then uh, uh, Sandra Chavez and I started the Music and Magic. Mm. Sa ano na yan? Doon na sa Alibay Bar. Uh-huh. Yes, and we were there almost a year. And uh, people would stay till two o'clock to mm-hmm. watch us. Punong mm-hmm. puno, you know. And uh, that's where we uh, we were able to gather fo- a following mm-hmm. that were very strong. Mm-hmm. mga creme de la creme, you know. That was very important mm-hmm. for us, anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from there, I started doing solos. Mm-hmm. It became hindi na music and magic, kule desma, and the music and magic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then my first. Mm-hmm. Um, Musical was Ramahari. Wow. Yes. Uh-huh. 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 After that, I did Kapinangan, another musical, and then concerts, uh-huh. uh, you know, uh-huh. recordings and all that. What, uh-huh. But it was in Napanood Alibaba. Napanood kita sa Ramahari. Ah, really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. That was a good experience uh-huh. for me. Uh-huh. At that time, ano pa ako, very, very shy pa rin, uh-huh. you know. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, I'm so glad that they chose me for that. Uh-huh. 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 After that, you know, um, doing concerts and uh, uh, recordings, and then doing my own concepts of kind of shows. Yeah. You know, like Ako ay Pilipino, mm. Inspired Madness. Those mm. two ones were uh, big shows at the um, uh, Cultural Center of the mm-hmm. Philippines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we would do 10-day shows, yeah. you know, and we would, be, uh, we would fill up those shows. After that, it would be the folk arts, Araneta, mm. yung mga ganyan. Mm-hmm. Oo. Mm-hmm. So ngayon, wow. ngayon ang aking mga pinagkakaabalahan uh-huh. ay uh, Hacienda Isabela uh-huh. yes. and doing, you know, uh, small shows there for uh-huh. our, for my fans and also for people who love to stay overnight mm-hmm. at Hacienda. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Doon ikinasal ang best friend ng aking um, stepdaughter na si Sasha, ah, really? yes. Oo. Oh. Uh, anyway, Sasha and Isabel. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, so, wait. You, um, you've released a string of records uh, that became gold, platinum, even double platinum. So, looking back, would you say na merong certain formula for producing a hit song? Uh, paano mo pinipili ang iyong material? In the beginning, it was my composers who chose for me. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, my first composer that trusted me with a whole album was George Canseco mm-hmm. with Dito Ba, Paano Kita Mapapasalamatan, mm-hmm. and many other songs. And then after that, si Cecil Azarcon, uh, Picasso, Now Innocentes, uh, with I Think I'm In Love, mm-hmm. Um, uh, marami pa and then till I met you mm-hmm. uh, with uh, Odette Quesada and, and so many other hit songs. Yeah. Ako ay Pilipino was also with uh, with George Canseco mm-hmm. for the Bagong Lipunan. Yes. But mm-hmm. you know, you never really know I, I didn't know that you know songs like Dito Ba were going was going to be my first big big hit. Mm-hmm. Um but uh, I trusted. I trusted my composers. Alam nila kung ano yung bagay sa yon. Hmm. But of course, I naturally also didn't choose songs that were not uh, decent. Hmm. Let's call it that. Mm-hmm. Uh, kailangan may meaning naman, mm-hmm. you know, sa buhay ng tao mm-hmm. na makakapag-inspire uh, ako hmm. yung ganon. Hmm. So 
now when I sing till I met you, mm -hmm. uh, it's really for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Kasi wala naman akong boyfriend, wala naman akong asawa, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so even for Ako ay Pilipino, it's such a powerful song actually that it can it can change the heart of someone, especially I, that I would sing it. Hmm. And so for a while, that became like a, uh, an anthem sa mga estudyante, mm -hmm. di ba? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I was quite uh, blessed to have been given mm -hmm. such beautiful songs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Speaking of beautiful songs by the country's best composers, including national artists Ernani Cuenco and mm. George Canseco, yeah. uh, um, can you share some of your <coughs> memories working with them? Uh, with George? <laughs> yeah, paano sila nakatulong sa paghubog sa yes. istilo mo ng uh -oh. pag-aawit? George is uh, quite interesting mm -hmm. because uh, he gave me dito ba, mm -hmm. in the studio na lang. Wow, Oo, okay. <laughs> medyo kayado ko na pinag-aaralan. Uh -huh. Eh, naging hit pa rin naman. So, kung hmm. makikinig ka dun sa original recording ko, para akong groping actually. Hmm. Dito ba kung sa naroroon? Hmm. Kala mo nag-iisip ng tono. Uh -huh. But actually, it worked for the song. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ngayon hmm. si, ano naman, uh, for the till I met you, si, uh, si Odette, she was there. All along, gave me the song. Ang ang ano nakakatuwa yung till I met you because I did not choose it at first. Mm -hmm. uh, her grandmother had to visit me after she asked me to join the Six Metro Pop. Mm -hmm. Yung mahilig sa contest eh, mm -hmm. nakakakabakas eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. So yun ang yun ang uh, such an interesting history of till I met you, and yet it's my biggest hit, mm -hmm. if not my biggest biggest hit, and her biggest hit. Pero, um, I'm glad that, that you know, pinwersa niya ako to join mm. it. We won first prize mm -hmm. and it was played on the radio so much, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, yung ano naman, yung I think I'm in love, talagang I was pregnant at that time mm -hmm. with my daughter, mm -hmm. si Isabella. So, maraming, you know, everything was uh, in place naman. When I look back, uh, I saw the hand of God mm -hmm. and how He blessed me with all these songs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I'm curious, because as a dancer, yeah. uh, usually pag nag nagtatrabaho ka with the choreographer, yeah. choreo the choreographer's word is God's word. You know, you uh -oh. kailangan talaga sundan. Uh -huh. you know? For singers, is it the same when you work with composers? The composer has the final say in everything. Well, they'll give you, ano, at, at least in the beginning, yes. Uh -huh. Pero ngayon kasi I produce my own uh, songs. Uh -huh. I, I'm working more with Venice Saturno uh -huh. right now, even uh -huh. for the song I Love You, uh -huh. uh, which is my recent uh, release. Uh -huh. And um, uh, yun talaga, ano, kailangan ko actually ng isang producer na nasa studio or else I just keep going on and on and mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, like ako ay Pilipino, it was really si, ano talaga yun, si George talaga na he wanted it a certain way. Mm -hmm. Kasi for me, hindi enough eh. Mm -hmm. When I listen to it, parang, parang hindi pa, hindi pa. Pero mm -hmm. for him, okay na yun, maganda na yun. So okay. th that's uh -huh. the way they work. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Okay, so after more than four decades as a prime mover in the entertainment industry, you've probably attained most of your goals um, as, as an artist. Um, if we imagine your life in a different scenario, na hindi ka naging mang-aawit, sino kaya si Kula Desma in an alternative universe? <laughs> Kung napapunta ako sa Amerika, I, I couldn't, I, 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 this is just a maybe, hmm. you know. I would have been a, uh, a nurse, mm -hmm. kasi I finished nursing eh. Hmm. But because I, I am also a bis, I can go into business. Since I was a child, I would sell halo-halo to our mm. neighbors, yung mga ganyan, <laughs> no? So, I like uh, dabbling in business and uh -huh. I have so many concepts and ideas. I guess maybe I would have been running a, a uh, nursing facility to take care of maybe older folks mm -hmm. or something okay. maybe something like that mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. or maybe put up a small hospital that mm -hmm. i'm that kind of person yeah, yeah i'm very i'm very creative mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i mean what spurned music museum 
ano, ano yung idea na yun? Oh, How did that okay. start? Well, the Music Museum kasi uh, was born out of frustration with venues like hotels because ah. a lot of times, you know, you go to a big hotel and they will only give you like a few hours to set up. Mm -hmm. So, finally, after so many years, I, I, I told my assistant, si Bingbong Aganin, sabi ko, dapat maghanap na tayo ng isang venue na maaayos natin, mm -hmm. make it into a, mm -hmm. a place. And yung sa Green Hills presented itself because you know, we always go to Green Hill, so there was a, the music museum, that yeah. area. Mm -hmm. um, so one, one uh, uh, U.S. tour of mine, lahat ng aking savings doon, mm. binuhos ko doon sa pagtayo ng music, music museum. museum. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was a brilliant idea. I mean, yeah, the, true. You, you're able to like eat and watch a show and yes, drink yes. and uh -oh. wonderful. Anyway, marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan kasama ang ating espesyal na bisita sa hapong ito na si Ms. Kule Desma. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art, magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala ng teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar. Sa tanghalan, iniahandog ng Teatrong Mulat ng Pilipinas ang kanilang annual Lenten tradition na Papet Pasyon sa darating na Palm Sunday, March 24. Dalawang libreng palabas ang itatanghal alas 3.30 at alas 5 ng hapon sa Amelia La Peña Bonifacio Teatro Papet Museo na matatagpuan sa 64 Mapagkawang Gawa Street, Diliman, Quezon City. Sinulat ng yumaong national artist Amelia La Peña Bonifacio at may musika ni Rodolfo de Leon. Ang Puppet Passion ay ang kauna-unahang Puppet Passion Play para sa mga bata sa Pilipinas. Magbabalik ang tablado ang musical na Rent Handog ng Nine Works Theatrical sa April 20, 21, 26, 27 at 28 sa CPR Auditorium RCBC Plaza, 6819 Ayala Avenue, Makati City. Obra ni American playwright na si Jonathan Larson sa direksyon ni Robbie Guevara. Ang rock musical ay tungkol sa grupo ng mga magkakaibigang artists sa New York City na sinisikap mamuhay ng maayos sa gitna ng krisis na dulot ng HIV AIDS. Unang itinanghal sa Broadway noong 1996, nagtamo na ang rent ng sari-saring parangal tulad ng Pulitzer Prize at Tony Awards. Sa Sining Biswal, bilang pagdiriwang ng International Women's Month, Iniahantog ng Art Lounge Manila kasama ang Female Art Addicts, ang exhibit na pinamagatang Confluence. Tampok ang mga obra ng All Female Artists Group kasama sina Margarita Lim, Monet Rivera, Maria Candida Flores, Adi Cooking Nun, Jenny Cortez, Flor Baradi, Shirley Tan, Inca Madera, Jeanette Campuis, Meneline Wong, Kathy Hipolito Mas, Lucel Camos, Kling Vega, Desi Isla, Jael Mendoza, Joe Uigongko at Rachel Duenas. Makikita ang exhibit hanggang March 14 sa Art Lounge Manila, Molito Lifestyle Center, Ayala Alabang, Muntinlupa City. Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Art to Art. Nandito pa rin tayo sa Art to Art at kasama pa rin natin ang undisputed pop diva na si Miss Ku Ledesma. Ku, bukod sa pag-aawit, sinubukan mo ding pasukin ng pagganap bilang artista mm -hmm. sa pelikula at telebisyon. Uh, and of course, one of your most memorable projects was The Year of Living Dangerously <laughs> with uh, Mel Gibson and Sigourney Weaver. So, yes. how was that, that acting experience like for you? Um, mm. And did you ever consider making it your second career? Yes and no, mm -hmm. actually. I, I love acting. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang yung sistema minsan dito sa atin, yung pagpupuyat, mm -hmm. that's really not my thing. Mm -hmm. It's bad uh, for the voice. Well, it's not even just bad for the voice, but for the health. Yeah, no? for your health. Mm -hmm. So, thank God that I can sing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> hindi ko yun, ano. Although now, parang sometimes I'm tempted to, to do, a, you know, to produce and act in a movie 
kasi marami akong messages that I'd like to impart into you know sa ating nasyon mm-hmm. na maraming kailangan pagbabago mm-hmm. especially sa mga mag-asawa sa mga relasyon sa mga anak yung ganon it's really and also yung makilala talaga natin ang personal ang ating Panginoong Jesus mm-hmm. because as a uh, as a uh, Well, before I became a born again Christian, and mm-hmm. people think that that's uh, that's a religion. It's mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. It is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. So, bago ako naging born again, um, hindi ko pa talaga na iintindihan yung power ng cross at saka yung blood ni Jesus. Why that is so crucial mm-hmm. in in uh, for us to understand mm-hmm. because. That makes a whole difference mm. in our life, mm. you know, as Christians and mm. followers of, uh, you know, our Lord. Mm. So, yun ang yun ang uh, yun ang gusto kong i-gawin sa movie ngayon, mm. no? Mm. But it will have to be in my own terms. Mm. Mm-hmm. Pero yung mga nagawa ko dante, I'm thankful that they got me. Meron pa rin mga nag-iimbita sa akin na mga teleserye. Mm-hmm. Pero kung hindi ko naman type yung yung ano ko role mm-hmm. hindi ko tinatanggap a lot of times ang binibigay sa akin masungit mm-hmm. <laughs> kasi yung mata ko ay talaga naka ano wow, mukha uh-huh. akong seryoso lagi uh-huh. no? uh-huh. so sabi ko hindi ako pwedeng magmukhang masungit at masama mm-hmm. sa teleserye kasi lumalabas ako at sinishare kong Panginoon ang maaalala nila eh mm-hmm. masama ako ng tao mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hindi it doesn't jive kontrabida right? kontrabida uh, eh di ba uh-huh. so it's it you know the money it's good pero hindi na yun ang purpose ko sa buhay eh mm-hmm. okay yeah um, and well of course on top of all this you're you're also an accomplished painter yes I paint yeah, yeah. Uh, um Ilang beses kang nag-exhibit Mm-mm. ng iyong mga obra. Paano nagsimula ang iyong yes. hilig sa pagpinto, pag, pag, pagpinta? Pinta and, ulit, yeah, did, did, did you take any formal lessons? No, I did not. Uh, you see, in high school, I was very very busy painting in between studying. Hmm. Pero syempre, I had to go to Bacolod for a five-year uh, BSN nursing uh, you know college mm-hmm. but you know after that wala na eh kumanta na ako so nakalimutan ko na ang pagpinta mga mm-hmm. 40 years then and then i became a born again christian and i saw sa biblia ang sabi na kailangan lahat ng mga giftings natin yung mga binigay sa ating kakayanan mm-hmm. katulad ng pag-aawit pagsulat kung mm-hmm. diyan ang kamagaling may mga binigyan ng dios na isa Mm-hmm. Meron binigyan dalawa, tatlo, apat. Ako, binigyan din ako ng creativity. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, Lord, meron pa, akong, meron pa akong isang talent na hindi ko na ginagamit. So, doon sa story sa Bible, ang sabi nung isang binigyan niya ng isa, binaon niya yung talent. No? Dahil sabi niya, masyadong stricto, masyado kang stricto, master, baka you know, magkamali ako. Ang tinawag ng Diyos doon, you lazy and evil servant. Hmm. So, uh, ayaw kong tawagin ako ng Diyos ng ganyan one hmm. day that I meet Him. Hmm. Hmm. So, I just want to make sure that I use it. Kasi lahat ng ating mga talento ay dapat binibigyan natin ng uh, parangal hmm. at uh, gloria ang ating hmm. Panginoon. Hmm. Dahil ang Diyos ang nagbibigay sa atin, Nang, um, the Bible says He gives us the ability to create wealth. Hmm. So yung abilidad, abilidad na yon binigay niya sa akin so that I can create wealth hmm. and a portion of that wealth will have to go back to Him. Yun hmm. yung tinatawag na tithes, yung 10%. Hmm. 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 So without giving that 10%, we are called, ano, can you imagine, evil. Hmm. So seryosong bagay yon, di ba? Hmm. Hmm. But now that I am a follower of Jesus, I take that seriously and I, I obey that. Hmm. So, importante yung, I, 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 you know, I please God. Yan. Mm-hmm. In my life. Mm-hmm. Oo. 
So, paano ka nakakahanap ng oras pa para... Para magpinta? Magpinta. <laughs> Hindi naman ako kumakanta ng 24 hours a day. <laughs> Sa bagay. <laughs> break ko yun. Yun ang break, break ko. Oh. I've had four exhibits. Mm-hmm. Successful exhibits naman. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the beginning, nung tinit- yung una kong mga pinte, eh, na- na- nahihiya ako. Sabi ko, oh my gosh, yun ba yung mga una kong pintura? No? Mm-hmm. Pero ngayon, I'm quite happy with what I have finished. Mm-hmm. And tinatago ko yung ibang obra ko. Ah... Mm-hmm. Uh, Marami nga nag-order pero hindi ko kayang hmm. uh, anuhin yon yung to to be able to finish them because yes. what actually gets in the way in my life right now is the ministry. Hmm. Dahil para sa akin, una muna ang Diyos bago hmm. ang pag-aawit. Pero ang pag-aawit naman, ginagamit ko naman yung opportunity that yes. there is an audience mm-hmm. to share something uh, mm-hmm. through songs. Mm-hmm. Yung ganun. Mm-hmm. Pa- pa- bahagi na yun ng ministry, Sama, yung uh-oh. pag-aawit. Yes. Okay, so aside from creating art, you also collect art. I, yeah. I used to collect art. You used Hindi to collect art. Oh, okay. Well, what kind of artworks make up your collection? Um, well, iba-iba. Dati mm-hmm. I was into ano eh, hindi naman sobrang dark, mm-hmm. alam mo yon. Pero medyo may pagka surreal mm-hmm. yung mga ganon. Mm-hmm. I also love ano. Uh, artwork na nature, flowers, mm. ganyan. Mm. Yes. Landscapes. Yes, mm. landscapes. Uh, okay. And uh, of course, aside from doing fundraising concerts, you have auctioned some of your artworks uh, um, for charitable causes? Actually, some of my collections. Ah, Uh-oh. okay. So, mga advo- your advocacies that are closest to your heart are, of course, the ministry. Yes, number um, one is yeah, the ministry, uh-huh. yes. Any other uh, charitable cause that... Well, you know, uh, ang Biblia kasi nagsasabi na true religion is taking care of widows mm-hmm. and the orphans. Mm-hmm. So, yung Kalipay Orphanage mm-hmm. in Bacolod is mm-hmm. one of the orphanages that I like to support. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also another one in Cavite. It's called uh, the Samaritan's Place. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they're, it's run by Christians. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung sa Bacolod, ito yung mga batang uh, tinatapon lang, minsan sa basurahan, mm-hmm. or mga batang kalye mm-hmm. na kailangan talaga ng guidance. Mm-hmm. Ang ganda ng Kalipay, um, uh, Kalipay Negrense, orphanage because they have a school in their orphanage and they are well ah, taken care yes. of. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've seen it mm-hmm. and it's run well. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. So yon, para sa akin that's one of the things and then the yung yung pwede nating suportahan din yung mga uh, mga you know women who namatay na ng mga asawa, nawala ng means pero mm-hmm. nagse-serve sa Panginoon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yung mga widows, hindi yung widows na nagpa-party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hindi yon. <laughs> Yan. I see. Uh, I see. Um, so, how do you relax? Well, my daughter loves watching movies, mm-hmm. but I choose my movies now. Mm-hmm. I relax. Ang time ko na lang talaga to relax is have a good sleep or mm-hmm. a nap, you know, mm-hmm. read the Bible, mm-hmm. uh, watch a good uh, inspirational film, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Yun lang. Yeah. That's enough. Yes, of course. <laughs> so, how do you stay creatively inspired and motivated all these years? Um, I listen to uh, good pastors uh-huh. who, who talk about certain topics in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Basically, it takes a lot of my time. Mm-hmm. Kasi I, in turn, also teach it. Eh. Mm-hmm. I, I teach the Bible now. I have mm-hmm. people that I, you know, a group of people that I share, you know, uh, topics from the Bible. Mm-hmm. More importantly is, you know, very important, kung parang doktor yan eh, kung mm-hmm. doktor ka, you're always learning new things, yeah. di ba? Mm-hmm. Now, as a Christian, hindi mo naman mauubos intindihin ng buong Bible, mm-hmm. you know, and you continue to read it, continue to, uh, you know, uh, fellowship with other believers, mm-hmm. importante yun, that's a command of God, mm-hmm. uh, to not to forsake the coming together ng mga pana- nananampalataya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, you know, before I introduce your song, yes. um, 
Do you have a message to uh, our televiewers and listeners, Sari Jo? Yes, of course. Um, well, uh, come and uh, watch our show at the Music Museum on March 16. Lahat po ng proceeds dyan ay pupunta sa isang foundation na makakatulong sa maraming mga kababayan natin na hindi maka-afford na magkaroon ng Bible at nakakatuling din sa pagbisita ng mga nagtuturo ng mga pastor na sinusuportahan namin uh, sa mga jails, churches, uh, sa eskwelahan. So, uh, also, uh, mag-umpisa na tayo magbasa ng Bible. Mm -hmm. Ang ating bayan is known as a Catholic, uh, actually predominantly Catholic, yes. or a Christian nation. Mm -hmm. Pero the true meaning of Christianity is really a Christian is a follower of Jesus. Um, hindi natin siya masusundan. We cannot be followers of Jesus if we don't know who He is and what He commands us or expects from us. But it is all written in the Bible. Pag hindi natin binasa ang Bible, hindi natin makikilala ang ating Panginoon that loves us so much. So, hopefully, you know, We'll get to see each other mm -hmm. so March, March 16. 16. Oh. Come and uh, experience uh, the music that inspires and can really change hearts. Wow. At tulad ng ating ipinangako, may espesyal na handog para sa ating lahat ang ating panauhin sa hapong ito. Ladies and gentlemen, bringing us her beautiful gift of music, let's all welcome the inimitable Miss Ku. Ledesma. Is this love? Feeling restless and sad Wanting you to always be by my side I don't even want you out of my sight You are in my thoughts all day and night I can't get you out of my mind I think I'm in love Tell me, please, tell me that you also feel the way that I do. Can't describe, words are just not enough. Can't explain, it all happens so fast. What exactly am I feeling right now? If this is love, I got to know somehow Just how long this madness will last Cause I think I'm in love I think I'm in love think I'm in love With Every single day, every single night, every single moment of my life, wanna spend them more with you. I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love with you. Tell me that you can't tell me, please tell me that you also feel the way that I do. 
for you. Thank maraming you so maraming much. salamat. And thank you for having me. Huh? Uh, <laughs> well, there's so many things happening. You have your concert on March 16. Yes, it's yes. your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you very you much. have a new single out, I Love You. Yes. Um, yeah, so please, uh, I, again, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Pa, um, go to Spotify listen to I Love You. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po si Lisa Makuha Elizalde, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino. Thank you. Thank you. God bless.